There are six things that you should give some thought to before adding products and setting up your store. These six things will make the process go smoother and faster with less retracing and changing. The first is the permalink structure of your site. Next are the shipping options, then tax tables, the payment gateway, categories for the store, and to protect the store from automatic upgrades. A permalink is a permanent URL or link to a site entry. Permalinks are what search engines use to help determine the relevancy of the site in a search. You want the permalinks to speak to the search engines and to a visitor so they understand what you have. Setting this now will prevent any broken links later. WordPress by default uses web URLs which have question marks and numbers in the URL. To change this structure, navigate to the Settings panel and the Permalinks subpanel. You can choose one of the default settings or you can use a custom setting. One popular custom setting is Post Name. This will change the URL from one that looks like this to one that looks like this which is easier to understand and to make sense of. Next are the shipping options. Answering some basic questions about shipping will help the process when filling out the shipping options panel. First, are you going to ship a product? If you're selling digital downloads, then you'll only need to check the Use Shipping option to No. If you're shipping a product, then the basic WP e-commerce configuration supports three internal shipping modules, the weight rate, the flat rate, and the table rate, and three external shipping modules, USPS, United States Postal Service, UPS, United Parcel Service, and Australian Post. The internal shipping modules calculate shipping based on information you entered for that module while the external modules gets information from another source to calculate shipping. For instance, if you choose the USPS for shipping, then WP eCommerce will use the USPS site to get information for shipping rates. Depending on which method you choose, you may need the packed product weight and the packed size. Also, are you planning on shipping international? If so, to which countries? These options can be changed at any time, but it does help to keep these things in mind as you set up your store. Setting up the tax tables can get quite complicated. You may only need to collect taxes for the state where your store is physically located. Some states may require you to collect taxes for the product and for shipping. Check with your state and local tax offices for details. WP eCommerce has tax tables for setting up this process. Choose your payment gateway. If you're processing your own payments, then you may need a merchant account. These usually take some time to secure, so this is a process you want to start as soon as possible. There may very well be some site requirements. A posted return policy or a posted shipping policy, for instance, or they may even require a security certificate to show that your site is secure. If you're using a service where you link to the payment process, such as PayPal, then you may not need a separate merchant account. You'll want to look at your options and the fees associated with the processing. Planning your categories will save you time and lost effort as you add your products. Having a good idea of the structure of your categories will also help the store run smoother and more efficient, and your site will look cleaner and well organized. One of the first things that you should do is to protect your WP eCommerce plugin from automatic upgrades. You'll be putting time and energy into your store site, and you do not want any of that work changed with an automatic upgrade. So WP eCommerce has temporarily disabled automatic upgrades for this plugin, so that will not happen. To benefit from the upgrades and to protect your data, you'll need to move the WP eCommerce theme. This is not the same as a WordPress theme. This theme is the operating files for the store. 
you'll need to move those to a separate location. To do this, you simply create a child theme. Most of these things are not written in stone and will change as the store grows, but giving serious thought to these beforehand makes the process easier and less frustrating.